friends of the Sussexes have hit back at claims that Prince Charles is footing the bill for Harry and Meghan's security costs in Los Angeles. They instead allege that the couple are being protected by a private security team already in place at Tyler Perry's mansion in Los Angeles. An insider told the Daily Mail earlier this week that the Duke and Duchess of Sussex could only afford to start paying off their pound 2.4 million bill for Frogmore Cottage after Prince Charles had agreed to foot their astronomical security costs in the U.S. A friend of the couple has now claimed that the Sussexes will pay for any security measures out of their own pocket in the future. Meghan and Harry have told their friends that any security team they do hire, they will pay for themselves. The source told the Daily Beast, suggesting that the couple had yet to secure their own permanent security team. Instead, it's been claimed the couple and their young son are living under the protection of security already in place at the $18 million mansion. According to the anonymous source, the couple are not asking for any special treatment with regard to their security situation, and have not received any. Daily Mail revealed earlier this month that the couple have been holed up in a Beverly Hills mansion owned by Hollywood tycoon Tyler Perry with their son Archie since mid-March, after moving over from Canada. The source also said the Sussexes have experienced unimaginable levels of intrusion from the press while living in the Beverly Hills mansion during the coronavirus pandemic, including paparazzi-operated drones illegally flying within 20 feet of their house to snap photographs. At least five such incidents have been reported to the LAPD. It is not known whether Harry, 35, and Meghan, 38, are renting Tyler's property or staying there as guests, but there is no record of the mansion having been sold. The couple have been spotted only a handful of times since their move to Los Angeles, first volunteering for a local charity dropping off food to locals who are more at risk of catching coronavirus as well as taking their beloved dogs out for a walk. The Duke and Duchess were unexpectedly stripped of their Metropolitan Police security team after their move to North America following their announcement they were stepping down as senior members of the royal family last year. Matters were complicated when authorities in Canada, where they were living at the time, made clear they would no longer support Britain in providing round-the-clock protection after the couple stood down as working royals. The Sussex's decision to flee to L.A., which made the situation even more complicated and costly, saw the Home Secretary step in, forcing them to back down. That meant hiring private security guards at an estimated cost of up to pound four million a year, which had not been budgeted for by the couple. As a result, it was understood that they had to ask Prince Charles to bear the cost of their security if they were to have any chance of clearing their Frogmore debt. The couple are already being heavily funded by the future king for the first year of their new life until they start earning their own income. Recently it was reported that the couple began paying back the money spent on Frogmore in April. They gave up their Met Police protection around the same time. The Sussexes are said to be paying monthly installments of almost £18,000, a combination of rent for the property and an unspecified payment towards the building costs. Shedding light on the deal, a source told the Daily Mail, they had fully expected that British taxpayers would continue to foot the bill for their protection but then the rug was pulled from under their feet and they had to ask Prince Charles to step in. That's the reason why they are now able to start paying back the Queen and the Crown Estate, who met the cost of the building work out of public funds. The source also claimed the couple's final bill soared because they included costly designs for work that wasn't even carried out. One of the biggest costs at Frogmore was that they flew in a designer from the U.S. to design the garden, the source revealed. Megan also wanted a tennis court. There are already tennis courts nearby in Home Park. But it would have meant them coming out of the garden and being seen, which she didn't like. A source who knows the couple well said, they felt that Frogmore and the money spent on it was no different from any other arrangement involving the main home of a member of the royal family. But because it was Harry and Meghan, it was always being used as a stick to beat them with. Paying back the money was one of the first decisions they took. They knew that if they did, no one would have the right to do that anymore. Meghan and Harry recently celebrated their second wedding anniversary with an L.A. favorite, Mexican food and margaritas, royal biographer Omid Scobie revealed.
the couple reportedly enjoyed a quiet day of celebrations together, joining family and friends on Zoom. British journalist Omid, who has co-written their upcoming biography Finding Freedom, revealed the couple reminisced about what a beautiful and magical day their wedding was. The couple's new bombshell biography Finding Freedom set to be released on August 11 will reveal that it was Prince Harry who chose to quit the royal family, and not Meghan. Harry, 35, is said to be angry at the term Megxa because it made it sound like the decision to break away from the firm was Meghan's alone, a source told The Sun.